Okay, I finally made it to work. Here's artist problems. What I want to be working on is that canvas over there doing the acrylic roses, but what I have to work on is paperwork, knit, paying bills and whatnot. And I don't like it. At least I got my coffee, some calico coffee. Yay! And my lazy butt took forever to get to work. <laughs> but what I want to work on art and I have to do paperwork. And then it's gross outside. I mean, it's not like, oh God, it's so cold or anything like that. It's just gray. Um, but I remember it's makeup maker's night tonight and I'm excited about that, but I forgot I have to go pick up chairs <laughs> for maker's night. Like I'm going to start a GoFundMe for chairs for the shop for classes and maker's night and events and things like that because I'm so tired of renting these things. They're not expensive. I'm tired of going and picking them up, setting them up, taking them back, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, cousins. They're super nice and super cool, and they always have chairs available for me, but I'm tired. I don't want to do it. I'm such a baby. I'm going to, but ugh, I mean, it's like 10 chairs, Pam. Stop complaining. Anyway, and I'm glad people are coming for Maker's Night. <laughs> I just need to, like, bite the bullet and make an investment in some, like, chairs. But they're expensive, and I'm a cheapskate. So, yeah, there's my little rant about that. I'm going to go pick those up in a minute when I get all of these checks written out and pay all of my money away. Um, but the shop's doing really, really well, so I'm, I'm happy for that. I can write, a, write all these checks and be confident that, you know, everything's good, and that makes me happy. I've been very busy lately, and that makes me happy, so the business is good. Um, I don't really do a lot um, retail, so I don't know. Um, it's, I'm coming up on a year in business, and nobody really takes advantage of um, nail supply, and I really don't have enough product in there, in my opinion. Um, but it took so much money to renovate this place that it ended up cutting into the money that I had for inventory. So. Um, all of the money I take in now in services goes to rent and heat and, you know, water and all the taxes and everything else. So, um, maybe something else may be happening there. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't, I don't know. I'll probably talk to Dave about it. Like, what do you think I should do? He's got an incredible business mind. He's had his own business for 30 some years you know he knows what he's doing I mean it was it's not retail I mean it's in engineering but at the same time he knows something or he wouldn't have been in business so long um so I don't know that's something I'm thinking about um I can't wait to get to this acrylic roses canvas um there's another thing I'm spending money on that acrylic <laughs> which you know it's an expensive art to make those pieces will be pricier than some of the other stuff like some of the other stuff that I do because a it's expensive um materials to make it I mean it's not like I'm using solid gold or anything don't get me wrong but um it it does take quite a bit of product to do this but I love the effect in I I feel like there's going to be a theme for a good long while with these um acrylic flowers with canvas, with possibly skulls. Um, if anybody knows where I can get um, some good skulls, let me know. I prefer some humane <laughs> skulls. I don't um, really prefer anything that has, you know, bullet holes in its head, but um, I will take what I can get, but I prefer, you know, some things that have passed naturally, some things from farms. Um, I found some, I have found some at like, um, antique stores and flea markets and things like that um but you know it, i i've gotten to the point where i may be looking for some faux taxidermy um maybe some mounts that way but i don't i really don't want to go that way i prefer i prefer working with real bone but you know it's difficult to find or it's incredibly expensive so anybody has any tips or tricks on that please let me know um, I want to do a rose 
um, skull, 3D row skull so badly, but every th all the skulls I have are either complete or in production. So um, I might want to do um, one of the like paperweight, not paperweight, bigger, but the, the fake ceramic human, human skulls um, with roses as well. I think that might be a cool look. Um, so yeah, this, this is probably going to, this rose and well flower, acrylic flower thing is probably going to stick around for a little while because I've like, I've gotten obsessed with it. Um, I've always liked making acrylic flowers anyway. So yeah, back in nail school, they called me the flower girl. Like I, I will work on a rose until I think it looks perfect. I will work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it. Um, it's just something I like to do. Everything in miniature, you know. I'm babbling. I'm gonna go get this these bills paid, and then I'm gonna go pick up chairs, and then I will be back, and hopefully have some time to work on that canvas, and then work on my clients. I think I, I have Miss Dreama today, and I have her friend Vicky, um, and I have Sabrina, and I have my sister. Um, I accidentally double booked Sabrina and Dreama's friend Vicky. I, I had written down in my book Dreama and Vicky. But for some reason, when Sabrina was making her appointment, and I'm so sorry, girl, when she was making her appointment, all I saw was Dreama. And so I didn't take into account that second appointment of Dreama's friend. So um, I had to change Sabrina, and I felt so bad. And I'm sorry, babe. I, that hardly like ever happens like I have a scheduling snafu like that and I, I do apologize it's not that it wasn't in the book it's just the way I had it written I just glazed right over the second one so that's my bad and I'm sorry but I'm gonna make it up to you baby um yesterday my niece had her play her susicle performance at St. Leonard's and it was fantastic they did a really really good job and uh, we brought let's see I brought um, Dave's daughter, Kate, and her two kids, Jada and Caleb, and they were so well behaved. They did such a good job. I wanted to bring Skylar to the baby, um, but for some reason they didn't think that she'd be able to sit through it. So, so she, she's just now like starting to like get up and roam around all over the place and wobble. <laughs> so they didn't think she could really like sit through it, especially at you know a, an old folks' home. So. Uh, she didn't come with us, but um, my mom and Bev and dad and my sister and Randy and all kinds of people were there and we had a great time. So, yeah, that was fun. I got to see my nephew Luke for the first time in like, I don't even know how long, sir. I hope he stops by and sees me today. You know, he was staying in his mom's last night, so come and see me. I just need him to be around once in a while. I miss him. I miss everybody. So I like it when they come to see me at work. Um, that's all that's going on right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.